This move is going to take our right side pass and make it an eight count variation. If you've not done a right side pass before, then we encourage you to go back and look at that right side pass in six counts before trying this eight count version. So it looks like this. We've got a rock step, triple step, walk, walk, triple step. Cool. One more time from this side. One, two, three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, an eight. It's like a slow, drawn out pass or changing of places. When we do this, leaders, we're just slow, as Evita already said, we're slowing down the rate at which we ask our partner to go to the other side. So from rock, there's a gentle sense of please pass. I, I lift the hand and I provide the space, and as Evita passes right here, instead of bringing the hand down immediately, which turns that shoulder for a triple step, I slowly or gradually bring that hand down. One, two, three, a four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it's kind of like Michael is trying to keep my focus or keep me with him, almost face to face, before allowing my body to turn to the side. Watch again here as he passes me here. He's sort of like, still look at me. Oh, yeah? yeah. Another way that you could approach this, leaders, is if you actually drive or keep pushing towards your partner, that indicates like just keep going, keep stepping in a, in a choo-choo train kind of a way. So if the shape is moving this direction, then we'll both travel in That's this direction. That's right, yeah. So here, if Michael boom, comes, boom, boom. oops, <laughs> um, I pass and then on the walks it's like, gotcha. yeah, we'll edit that. Cool. So we're both going to move in this direction, rock, step, triple step, walk, walk, and then trip, we'll exactly. step. Exactly. By Michael coming with me, he doesn't give me an anchor in which I move away from. He stays with me and we walk together like a choo-choo train. Watch again from this side. Here, Michael comes with me and then he anchors to finish that move. Yeah, It's kind of, I guess, if I think about this hand connection as, as the the, well, it is the lead moment, but <laughs> if this hand connection moves with my partner, then that's what allows her to walk. So leaders, when you decide to stop letting this hand connection go towards your partner after the pass, that will help bring resolution to the And idea. so watch for just a second as we do a six count, where you see Michael anchor, he stops and the arm comes down, and so my body unwraps and resolves or triple steps away from that. Versus in the eight count pass, you can see him linger, linger, and then, and then um, conclude. Anchor, yeah, that triple step at the very end, leaders, is what helps ground my body or anchor it so that she continues while I do not. And as always, I'm, I'm trying to demonstrate to the followers this quality of being slow because I could absolutely ignore him and just you know, be too fast and do my six count triple step when he intended the eight count. If I'm too fast, I just made that choice to do my basic six count. I wasn't even paying attention to what this felt like and how much time he was giving me. So I think the two elements to make this very basic eight count pass work are number one leaders, instead of countering your partner immediately after the rock step, stay with them. And then number two, once your partner passes to the other side, keep the hand connection moving with your partner or towards your partner before you anchor. All right. So a variation on this eight side, eight side, eight side, eight side count pass. <laughs> so a variation on this eight count right side pass will be to add a free turn at the end. So we have a one, two, three, and four, five, six, and then triple step. I love that. That feels like a really natural way of playing with or adding in the two beats. Again, leaders, at the end of this pass moment, right there. Three and four. As I bring this hand down, it's going to move through that circular. Five, six, seven, and eight. To give her a free turn. Again. <laughs> One, One, two, three, and push. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Follows, I hope you see again my half turn, half turn on five and six. And something that might be harder to see or almost invisible is when I'm passing Michael, 
whether it's a six count or an eight count, I have a connection with him here. It's like I'm a little uh, tree that has a branch that's like reaching towards the sunlight. And, and so Michael can feel my frame in his hand. This connection is going to allow Michael to apply pressure, to apply rotation, and this is what helps me turn. <gasps> Wee! I don't turn of my own volition. I feel him sort of like I'm a little teapot. Short. True. True. And, <laughs> and it's that moment here that Michael pushes. So I'm providing him a good uh, frame that he can use to communicate, turn, and making it an eight count pass. The nuance to this lead leaders is how you, how you ask your follow to rotate. And when we teach this all over the world, we see leaders get a little sloppy or a little lazy with this free turn. So we're going to ask leaders that when you go to send your partner, don't drop the hand and then just throw it because that will throw off your partner's axis. You're taking my frame and you're taking my shoulders and by throwing it down, that makes my balance wobbly. So instead, leaders, when your partner passes, the hand comes, spirals down. And it doesn't get too much lower than my waist. I need you to protect my shoulder rib cage balance. Yeah, so when I bring this hand down, it is through her shoulders that I'm thinking about yes. that turn. So it's a little tricky to do this well, leaders, because the hand has to go from high down to the right height and then create a circular sensation on a flat plane here. Yeah, cool. I like those. It's good.